All right, let's watch a movie. Ah, these chairs. I love them, but they just, they feel small for me. Man, my head's not even hitting the headrest. I know they always say it's a personal problem that I'm six foot seven, but I really wish that I'd gotten the XL Valencia theater seats. Whoa, it's the XL Valencia theater seats. This is awesome. Oh, that feels so much better. It's like I can move around in it. I gotta feel this. Oh, it's hitting in the right spot. Yes. Wow, <laughs> that is so much roomier. At 6'7", I just was not fitting in these regular size Tuscany chairs. Great chair. Valencia was nice enough to send me these XL seats. So they sent me these two right here and I love them. I mean, just sitting them in initially, there is, it, it, they're only about three inches wider, but it just feels like so much more space for my size to sit in them. Notice though, the height is the same in terms of the armrests and everything. So you can really, that was one of my fears was that I wasn't gonna be able to blend regular size with the XL size because my wife at 5'4", she, she likes the regular size Tuscany chairs a lot better. Um, but this just, I mean, initially sitting in it just feels so much better. I've got more space. Um, obviously I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm tall, but I'm not super wide, but I'm, I'm large enough that I was just feeling a little tight in the regular size seats. My upper back right here on my headrest, if I were to pull my headrest forward right here, I've actually got support. Wow, I've actually got support behind my head. So just initially having that headrest right there, wow, that is so much more comfortable just to have it right there on the back of my neck. So these are the XL versions of the Tuscany series Valencia theater seats. And visually they look identical, uh, except for a couple of things, which I will get into here. I'll show you a couple of the little differences between the regular and the XL. Uh, and, and on screen here, you can see that I've laid out the dimensions. So you can see the dimensions of the XL seats in terms of their width, uh, the, the backrest height uh, being a little bit taller than the regular size seats here. So XL just a little higher on the headrest. So something to take into consideration if you do have that back row. Now, fortunately, I did set my back row on risers and uh, I've already tested sitting back there and at the end of the day, my height is, is the highest thing in this seat. So anybody sitting behind me, it really didn't make a difference because it's my head. But the headrest itself is still, it's, it's tall enough to give me that head support, but not so high that it's going to visually block anybody behind. Visually, they're a little bit wider uh, than the regular seats and they're a little bit taller, but overall, they blend in really well with the regular seats. So I, I wouldn't be, you know, opposed to anybody thinking, oh, let me just mix in the regular with the XL. But, you know, if you're gonna go XL, maybe you just go all XL with it. In hindsight, maybe I would have gone all XL. Um, my wife, Lauren, did sit in these as well. And she, she kind of liked the extra room that was in the seats themselves but she's not sure yet. She's kind of undecided in terms of if she likes the smaller one or if she likes the bigger ones. We also have two dogs. And uh, so in, in that respect, maybe she likes sitting in the bigger one with the two dogs. So, but as you can see here, just sitting here, uh, you can see here again, the headrest just hitting right here at the back of my shoulders, which was not a comfortable place to have them sit. Uh, so some of the differences between the seats themselves just as a comparison here, the controls are probably the most notable thing that is different. I, I have a feeling that these might have been an older style, but I kind of, I, I really kind of like this layout almost better than the regular ones. Uh, but that's personal preference. I just like that it's you know forward and backwards, forward and backwards. You've got the uh, the actual recline, the lumbar, and then the headrest here on the back, and then this is the LED light button for the cup holder and the under seat lighting. As long as the chair is plugged in, those lights are always staying on, which is, which is handy. And it's, it's down next to your leg, so you don't even see it 
Uh, it's not causing any type of blue cast issues. So in contrast, on these uh, regular seats, you've got these little uh, visual icons showing, which is nice. People can look at it and they say, oh, that's the head, that's the lumbar, that's the recline. Um, but when you're sitting in the seat themselves, you can't actually see these icons. So it's just being more familiar with where the buttons are laid out. Uh, but notice that when you turn blue LED lights on or off, these still remain on. These are white, however, they're not blue. Um, one other difference between the two controllers, which uh, is a feature that I love about the regular seats that is not on the XL seat, is that the home button on here will actually be, is actually a reset button. So when you push and hold this button, it resets everything back into its original position. So in the case here, if this was out and say the lumbar was out and the headrest was out up here, when you push and hold the home button, it resets everything all at once. You don't have to do everything individually. But on the XL seats, that's a feature that just is not there. So if the feet was out, the lumbar is out, and the headrest is out, that just turns on and off the light, does nothing. Uh, it needs the weight to push everything down in, see right there. So if you're doing it without anybody sitting in it, it's not gonna operate properly. So you really need to be seated in the chair itself to then go out. But as you can see here, let me just extend it. That's a lot more comfortable because it just gives that extra length on my legs. So it's hitting right there, almost close to my ankle, whereas the other one was hitting right at about my calf, which was a little uncomfortable. And I was, I was forcing myself to kind of scoot down in the chair so that I'd actually have a headrest. Where in this one, I, I actually find myself scooting up a little bit. And then I can, of course, adjust the headrest to bring my neck up. And it hits me right at that comfortable space there, right at the back of my neck, right in here, which is really nice. Adjust that lumbar support a little bit. Yeah, I feel, oh, that feels so good just to have that extra little lumbar support, headrest, and feet all the way out. Can actually even put my arms at my side if I would would want to, or put them up here. It's kind of comfortable to have them up here. So, man, I mean, I'm I'm just kind of experiencing here with you guys to give you guys a feel of what it's like to sit in here as a six foot seven, two hundred and thirty five pound guy sitting in it. But this is just, I mean, I I feel like I'm in my luxury seat now to watch a movie. Whereas, don't get me wrong, these regular size non XL Valencia theater seats are very, very comfortable. These are equally comfortable. It's just for my size. I'd really say anybody taller than about six feet would want to be in an XL seat. Or if you just like an oversized seat or a little bit larger recliner to sit in regardless of your size, XL is the way to go really, um, in my opinion. Now I do have to, like I said earlier, I have to independently put all these back, which is the one, one downside, but I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that considering how comfortable these seats are having them being a little bit larger in size. Cup holders are a little different. Uh, the regular Valencia theater seat cup holders, testing style, um, the led ring is on the outside. Whereas on the XL version, the led ring is on the inside of the cup. And I don't, I don't think one is really right over the other, uh, other than the regular th seat, a little more subtle. And this one is a little bit brighter. So I kind of like the subtle effect a little bit more than the bright down inside of here, but it does have two stages down here as well. So if I were to set a cup down inside of here, it holds it really nicely, holds it nicely there. A little bit looser here because this has a little bit more room. So this one on the XL does feel a little bit snugger with this particular uh, coffee thermos in any case, but could facilitate even a larger cup than the regular size, which makes sense. They're the XL Valencia theater seats after all. And they function with the trays just the same, no different. So you can still pull the trays out. The trays still do fit in the armrest and you still got your tray here. Same issue here though on the regular one. If you've got the tray here, you're then not able to rotate this tray around anymore. Um, so that's when you just set it in your wife's cup holder so you can use the cup holder and still have your tray at the same time. She'll you know, she'll have to find some other place for her cup. So really nice. Love the features of the cup holders. Love the features of the trays. If you guys don't get the trays, you're missing out. Definitely order the trays with your seats from Valencia Theater Seats. 
these trays are awesome. I actually didn't even think I'd use them that much, but we're constantly using them, whether we're just, you know, got some extra snacks out here. It's much better to have those on the tray than having them in your lap and then worrying about having a bunch of crumbs down in here. So um, I can't really say that much more about the differences between the two seats. They function great, they feel great. These are just larger. And some people like larger seats, and if that's you, you like a larger seat, go with the XLs. If you're a larger human being like myself, then go with the XL Valencia Theater seats. Overall, I am super, super thrilled. Big shout out to Valencia Theater seats for sending these out to me. When they saw me sitting in the regular seats, they were like, Michael, we're gonna send you some XLs. We want you to see and feel what the XL seats are like. So I'm super, super happy that they were sent me these. I'm still kind of deciding where I'm gonna position these overall. I've currently got the two XL seats over here on the right. And as you can see, they look great butted up against the regular size seats here. But I'm also gonna play around with another configuration where I'm gonna put these in the middle, uh, it, especially if my wife decides, you know what, I like the bigger seat myself, and then I'll end up putting these because these are the two seats that my wife and I sit in for the most part uh, for, for all movies, these two seats right here. <music> All right, so this is kind of the layout I decided to go with, I think. Um, it, what's cool is we can shift them back and forth if we wanna change layouts. Before we had a love seat right over here, but I, I really think this is very well balanced with the two XLs in the middle. Now, obviously you might not have a situation where you've got some XLs and you've got some regulars, but it kind of works, you know? The one thing I will let you know is the, the locking mechanism underneath, like these two seats can be locked together uh, with the locking mechanism, the outside ones, don't quite uh, line up down there so they can't be locked together. But these seats are so heavy, unless, you know, the one, the one uh, thing you gotta be careful of is if you have it fully reclined and you go to get out of it, if you put weight, full weight on that front one and these seats are not locked into the adjacent seats, you could be tipping forward with the whole seat. So that's one thing. I definitely, definitely recommend locking your seats together, but I really kind of like this layout because I don't know, it just, it just looks really well balanced really well laid out and you know when i first walk into the theater i don't even really notice that the two center ones are a little bit taller but you can really see here the the slight height difference in those two middle ones there and honestly i have a feeling that my wife lauren's gonna want to have one of the bigger ones as well and uh so put the the two smaller ones on the outside and so these are what they call the money seats right here and the two big ones right here in the middle, but um, it, it's cool. I like how Valencia Theater has these set up uh, because you can mix them, match them around depending on how you get the armrest configurations. But I had no idea that I was even gonna be able to get these XL seats when I originally did the layout for these seats. Uh, but when you've got a couple of rows, you can mix and match them, have love seats, have no love seats. And so, yeah, this is how it's gonna stay probably for a little while and we're really gonna enjoy these seats. Uh, if, if you're on the fence, let me put it this way. If you're on the fence with, you know, you don't know, should I go XL, should I go regular? I, I would go XL if you're, if you're hesitant at all. And especially if you like a larger seat, like a larger recliner, a larger sofa, you definitely wanna go with the XL seats. The regular size seats are fantastic as well. I would say from a comfort standpoint, they're absolutely equal. They're both very, very comfortable. This just feels slightly more luxurious, uh, I would say, but that's probably just because of the size. And you know, when you're a large human stuck in a small seat, there's nothing really luxurious about that. So uh, that's all for me, guys. This was uh, my review of the XL Valencia Theater seats and especially comparing them to the regular size seats. Um, I, hope, I hope you got some insights from that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do a variety of things. I do electronic reviews. I do cryptocurrency reviews. Uh, I do affiliate marketing education, but it's really just what I'm passionate about and I hope you guys get some value out of it. And if you do, be sure to smash the subscribe buttons, hit the like button, and I would love it and appreciate it if you would share this video as well. It really helps out the channel. And of course, check the links in the description of this video. You can get $100 off a Valencia Theater seat set by using the code MANSELL. So be sure to use code MANSELL. Big shout out again to Valencia Theater seating. 
They do a phenomenal job. Their delivery speeds are really good. Even over this past year during the whole COVID pandemic uh, situation, they really did a phenomenal job keeping up with delivery times to all the customers that uh, were purchasing seats off of the link in my description. So, and be sure to reach out to me. I mean, if you have any questions specifically about the chairs, I'm always available uh, online. So check the links in the description as well. Hit me up in chat on Facebook, on Telegram, and be happy to answer your questions. My name is Michael Mansell. See you guys on the next video.